Hi everyone, this is Kishore from appsdba.info. In the previous session, we have installed the uh, Oracle source uh, database uh, which will be used for our lift and shift process. So in this uh, in this uh, session, what we are going to do is we are going to install, do a lift and shift by installing the Oracle eBusiness uh, you know, Cloud Manager. This is the particular patch, right? This is the particular patch which we need to install on the Oracle eBusiness instance uh, which is like a source. The source could be uh, it could be on premises environment or it could be in our case we have we have, we have we have what we have done is in the OCI we have an image right Oracle eBusiness release 12.210 on that on top of it we need to install this particular patch right so those are the steps what we need to do the first step what you is you need to download the backup module onto the source database so for that what you need to do is you need to go to Win SCP and copy that particular patch particular patch and uh, go to your source database go, uh, go to your source database and uh, go to this patches folder and download the patch and unzip the particular patch so that is the first step what you need to you know what you need to do so this step is clear right this step is clear the first this is the first step now what we need to do is we need to copy the uh, from the Oracle eBusiness cloud manager we need to copy the PEM key now we need to copy the PEM key from the Oracle eBusiness cloud manager to our Oracle eBusiness source database. So if you go to your eBusiness CM, you have a PEM key, right? You have this PEM key. So you need to copy this. So copying, what you can do, you can go to your SSH folder. So I have already copied it, but again, I'll show you. So you just say, give the same name and just drag and drop that uh, the PEM key copy here and paste it and give the permissions change mode uh, you know change mode 400 and give this file uh, you know this particular uh, file so that is the these are the steps so just change mode as I discussed of uh, 400 to that PEM key you copied this particular file from Oracle eBusiness cloud manager instance to this Oracle eBusiness database okay from the cloud manager to the eBusiness instance I'm just repeating this then you create uh, folders on the eBusiness uh, server from where you are going to do the lift and shift. Then you enable SSH on all the uh, required nodes. Uh, this is if your application and database are in different places, you may have to do it. So in our case, we don't need to uh, do it. The next step would be to generate the SSH keys uh, which we'll be using uh, during the configuration. So what you do, you create it no need to give any passphrase right so SSH keys to ID uh, ID RSA and ID public key are been created so far so good so move it to the SSH keys right so now you need to put the database in RK log mode so for that what I do I need to stop the application and uh, go to the environment file and update this and bounce the services I will do I'll perform all these activities and then we can log in this is any DBA knows what are the steps you have to convert the system from uh, no uh, no RK log to RK log mode so I made the changes in the environment file the RK log location and bouncing the you know database right and you just after that you will just start the application then we are ready uh, to move our let me put this correct description move the Oracle application right move your Oracle application and the database from from your on-prem let us assume that ours is on-prem to object storage okay it moves to the it goes to the object storage you don't need to create any bucket you know we don't need to create any you know bucket so the system itself will create a bucket for you so we just have to uh, you know run the script and it will ask you for the first the database details then it will ask you for the application details right you need to provide the apps password right then it will ask you for the object storage details this is the bucket what it is going to create for you right and then we need to collect a couple of information so like you know user OSID either you can go from the console and get the information or you can uh, get the information uh, from this particular file there is a file called John, John Smith in this particular directory right and you can copy and paste you can start using it you also need the compartment to sit that one you can collect it and provide the information so then you are all set so it will take uh, 
roughly around uh, you know two, it took like last time it took for me one hour 20 minutes uh, to move the entire oracle e business uh, uh, you know it, and actually it took around 46 gb 47 gb but luckily you know even though in 30 days so uh, 30 days trial system even though it's 10 gb is free uh, 10 gb 10 gb 20 gb is free but still it is 46 gb they have accepted it which is so cool so once uh, the bucket you can go through the bucket and object you can just uh, look for the details then the final uh, once that is completed you are all set for you know you are all set for uh, running this uh, you know uh, running and uh, ready for the cloning so now so now your rk log is been enabled right uh, so what i'll do i'll just pause the session and start the so i have started the instance now you are all set connect as oracle user uh, connect as oracle user and run this particular command uh, okay so we need to okay so oh, okay so we are in a wrong place and uh, okay it is copied to the uh, I copied uh, i should have done it to backup so why not i do like this uh, move the it is not okay even those patches let us make it a call as a backup so that it matches with my documentation right now it is matching and now you run this particular script right uh, so it tells you migrate oracle e-business suit create e-business backup and upload to oracle cloud infrastructure so enter the enter option one now enter proxy details so two so we don't want to enter the proxy details now it will ask you for the uh, the complete details enter the source details so source database so this one let me check if it, the details are ava already available so yeah it will ask you for the uh, the host name yeah it is already i copied the os user is oracle enter no need to enter the password no need to enter anything uh, no need to enter the passphrase so now it is asking for the context file enter the context file right last key for the uh, zone enter gmt uh, database transparent encryption no initially if you want later on you can do this okay and it will ask you uh, where is your ssh key and this one we already have this right so now you say yes so it will validate the details and ask you for the stage folder which you have created uh, just before running this particular script so provide the database uh, stage folder now it will ask you for the application details I don't want to enter the proxy details the fully qualified name uh, this one also is apps.example.example.com so you can copy from here enter uh, OS user is Oracle no need to enter password no need to enter the private key no need to enter anything the context file this is the application context file so I'll just go here and enter the application file details and this is the stage oh it is asking for the apps password enter the apps password yeah so do you want to use the default SSH keys you let it use validating now it's asking for the stage directory enter the stage directory weblogic password is welcome one welcome one now it's asking for the backup tool EBS uh, what what did I told uh, EBS cloud give the name is EBS cloud enter uh, the thread count you can give eight uh, yeah it, we can take this particular format no need to enter the advanced configuration yeah, give the password you need to remember this password while decryption so uh, no proxy details so now it's asking for the cloud OS it so for this you come to your this particular file there is a file called John Smith you can collect all the information about that particular user so first it will asking for the user OS it this is the user OS it fingerprint also you can get it uh, fingerprint I guess you need to uh, you need to copy right and the private key uh, oh okay so this private key is the key which we copied so you know you need to be little alert here 
uh, right so private area uh, private keys so it is there in our source database so let us make a duplicate uh, thing so it is available here okay but even though let me collect like this slash and get the pem key so this is the one so now this one you provided private key path this one we copied from remember we copied from the oracle e-business instance give this uh, tenancy we can get from the cloud manager either you can from the console or from here you can get this except compartment remaining all the details you get it cloud region also you can get from the particular file uh, tenancy uh, tenancy name I know that uh, so what my tenancy name is uh, aura9900 okay so this will vary from for each of you so give this compartment ID I already shared the details like from where you can collect it so e from e-business cloud manager con you know, compartment ID you copy that and uh, you know, paste it so I wanted to move I can move it to compute instance or VM or XR data but I'm just moving it to compute so whether all the details are correct yes all the details are correct and then you you proceed so it will do lot of validation lot of validations for you and uh, right it would takes like at least one two hours for the things to do so yeah so what will do it will do a lot of validations i put all the screenshots to make your life easy right so let us wait for two three hours once it's complete then we can work on the clone let me pause the session so you know what uh, it is co it got completed so we will just verify whether uh, we are able to see uh, we are able to see in the cloud manager so for that you need to log into the you know cloud manager right select your compartment and now uh, what you do you select advance so I'll show you uh, where the backup module will come so if you see again change your compartment default profile and now once you click it right and change again your compartment you should see here yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so this is looks good so we need to run in the VNC all of the activity what you have done because it takes a longer time and uh, so I just safeguarded all the things what we did don't forget don't run in a putty it will just get disconnected after some time so you provide it takes all the details and you know uh, what it does it, it runs a rman backup and copies the rman backup to object storage then application files it copies right and it took around 1 hour 20 minutes so this all information you can verify you can verify from the storage you can go to bucket okay see yeah so these are the two files which got created if you go to database you'll find the database files in whatever format you know we don't understand this format uh, it's a rman backup basically what i understand it is a rman backup and also if you click this generic you can find all the files of the application maybe oracle home and everything yes right oracle homes right so if it has taken around 45 you know 45 gb right so we are able to verify it you connect it you connected it and you have to, you have already selected it. so now what is the last step is we just have to you know what the last step is we need to clone so that step we will do in the uh, next session so thanks for watching